guys, so now we're here at the Ever Belen event. I'm with Helen. That's why we were just talking. And then <laughs> apparently, my photo came from 2013. Five years ago? Four years Four. ago? <laughs> Pink hair pa ko ulit noon. Oh my god! Oh my god! Yon! <laughs> oh my god! Mas pahet pa ko niya, no? <laughs> Yeah, but I remember that. I saw your hair, mo, uh, no? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. Grabe na kabalik na ako sa pink ano? Ano kita mo na kami? Kasi may na kami. Our friends na kami. Super fan girl na si Tina. Hello, Sha. Oh my God, girl. Small world talaga. Kaya dapat magingat ka, kasi mamimit niyo alit yung isang lang to magingat kayo. So basically, you're going to pick one look, and you're gonna do it there in the stations. And then you're going to take. I think I go ahead. And then you're going to take pictures of it, and then submit it back here, and then that's it. Okay, so now we're doing our makeup. I'm putting it in again, and she's going to sell. Oh, surprise! Surprise! I want a kiss. Thank you. I'm so excited. I never win stuff. Christina Archer. Okay, I'll get it nalang pala later after I do my look. So, sabi niya, are you done with look? Sige, no. Later, after, later na lang. No, make up muna. <laughs> Kailangan na proof na gumawa ka. <laughs> Sunrise pink tayo, mga bash. Okay lang kasi may hair is pink. So, feeling ko carry naman. Good luck sa second event ko later tonight. Good luck. Then, understand me. Pwede naman daw, I may tone down ako. Sa'yo, yung look! Go big or go home. Handa-handa, <laughs> na may dalang brushes. <laughs> Competitive. <laughs> Wait, mga na tayo ito eh. Yay! Yung putang blush natin. Yes, Jessa. Hindi kami na-inform na inulit pala yung EB Big Beauty Challenge team. Um, pa-cute version. Oo. Ano ba nalang bagay yung hair? Di ba nga? Mga ka ng geisha, Twini. Yes po. My God, I miss you so much. I love the pink pink. Pati si Blush. Yan kasi na ano ko eh. Anong look mo? Blurred? Si ano? Si Momo look. Yan ang pagkatapos makipag-Momo look. Ayy! Yan ang gustong gusto ni Nikki eh. Aminin mo. Embarrassing thing just happened. I parked dun sa near White Space Manila which was where the event was and I forgot that I had no cash at all kasi nag-tights ako nung Sunday today is Wednesday and wala akong ginastas kasi for Monday and Tuesday so hindi pa ako nakakapag-withdraw tapos nung paglabas ko, my god, nakakahiya 70 pesos, hindi ko mabayaran yung coins ko lang were like 30 pesos nakakahiya, so I was like, ah, I'm so sorry meron po ba dito malapit na withdrawal promise po, babalik ako sabi niya, um, eh Let's give up. Don't put me on video. So I'm like, oh my god, I promise, I'm going to go back. I'm not going to take it. So I withdraw. I put a jacket on because it was raining. Then I withdraw. So I just said, you need your phone because you need an OTP, whatever. Then I'm like, oh my god, I'm going back to the rain. Took my phone and then when I got back, I didn't need an OTP. So I'm like, oh my gosh, such an eventful 30 minutes. So I'm going back there. So I'm going to talk to the guard. Because I think that they thought that I ran away na. Tapos pagbalik ko, oh, sabi ko sa'yo, pagbalik ako eh, ganyan ganyan. Tapos sabi nila, oh, sabi ko sa'yo, kuya, nagagal pa ako. Kuya, bakit? Mukha ba akong hindi magbabayad? Nagagalang, joke lang. Just to be funny. Pero nakakatawa, sabi ko, ate, thank you sa tiwala. So, ayun, I paid 70 pesos. Wala, nakakahiya. Wala lang. So, always have cash in your wallet. 
blurred pala ako the whole time. So always have cash in your wallet. Women who are very blessed with, I mean, money's not bad. Like, come on, like we use money to do things like this, to do good things. You know, but I was very envious because I wanted that. Like, I want to look like I, I, I got something off of the runway, and I couldn't do that. But it was the biggest blessing of my life because it forced me to be creative. It forced me to think outside of what was in the magazines. So I, up to now, will say buy less, choose well. What I, I used to really, like, I'm a very small girl, and I used to think, in America, people are really tall. I used to be so conscious because I was so... Like a Snickers bar, like fun size, <laughs> like bite size. I used to always think I have to always wear heels. I have to, or you know, I, I won't be like, I won't feel like myself, or like I want to be really like, I love statement pieces, so I thought I have to wear heels because it's a statement. And that's not true because if this isn't a statement, I don't know what is. And these are my favorite go to shoes. And they're comfortable. And another lie that we buy into is that, okay, I have to really disagree with Christian Louboutin because he said, I would hate for someone to look at a pair of my shoes and think, oh my gosh, that looks so comfortable. Like, how disgusting is that? Like, we laugh, but like, that's really disgusting, right? But you know what? We have to be realistic. And the realistic truth of the matter is that space is infinite. And we have to be good stewards of our space. And as you get to know your style, as you give yourself permission, to really flourish as your most authentic self in your style, your style will always be ebbing and flowing and changing. And I guarantee you, if you pull up a Facebook picture of yourself five to 10 years ago, even if you are a fashion veteran, your style has changed. If it's, if it's you, if it's Anna Wintour, the editor of Vogue, I don't care who you are, that is how the fashion cycle in our own lives work. So it's so important, it is so important to hone in on what works for your style and let go of the rest. Can you imagine if you are stuck in your style from 2010 because you just didn't want to make space in your closet? It's a good thing to change. It's a good thing for things to shift and ebb and flow because you're changing. Imagine if you acted the exact same way you did 10 years ago, had the same values and just didn't learn anything. Again, fashion is a mirror of what's inside. So change and let go when it's time to let go. Also, I've learned that when I practice self-control in my closet, I am able to steward well in other areas of my life, right? Because I, I know discipline. I'm able to be organized, things like that. I also love to attach this verse to it. God gave us I always say this in my closet. I stand in my closet and say, God gave me a spirit, power of love, and self-control. When I say goodbye to my donations bag, right? <laughs> and, so, and I'm telling you from a fashion buyer, right? I would sit in meetings all the time where the number one goal in our meeting was to make it look like that. Have you seen Mean Girls? How they say, you can't sit with us. Like we would take a very ordinary, an ordinary item with a single goal, we would spend like an hour meeting about this with our PR, with our publicist. How can we make this girl feel like she's not worth this? So that she empties all her pockets, does everything so that she can fit into this tiny impossible piece of fabric. So it's so exclusive that she just has to have it. And it's a lie. Fashion, again, is your conversation. You get to dictate it. You are the boss of what you wear and no one else can tell you otherwise. So we're gonna